Part of it is, is being um, very true to yourself as a leader and, and, and authentic in, in your style. And the countless uh, leadership trainings and others that I've done in a prior life and, and at City, um, to me, leadership is kind of a patchwork quilt amalgam of different things you've seen and practiced and done that feel true to your character. Um, if you were to look at my team, you wouldn't believe how diverse they are on so many different dimensions, but certainly on personality and style. They, uh, you know, and, and I consider all of them to be exceptional leaders. And how they lead and create followership and engagement is, is very different. So that, to me, the, the core of it is, is, is kind of understanding what you're comfortable doing and what is so authentic and true to you. And then, to me, a large part of leadership is the, is the what and the how. There's technical competence that you're trying to acquire along the course. And, and this is one where, you know, be open to the possibility. When somebody says, you know, I'm taking you off, you know, what you think is a linear track, um, trust me, you know, the ability to, you know, build that uh, technical expertise in different domains is immensely important. By the way, you shouldn't do it straight out of the, out of the gates. You have to have some depth and some technical discipline before, I think about like as a T, you know, first you get the technical discipline in one area and then you can begin to branch out. Um, and if given the chance, that's probably the best way to do it. But the how is also incredibly important. I, you know, I think, um, you know, I, I, they're learning different skills. So that one of the things that I thought I was pretty good at was asking questions. Um, I, you know, got enough feedback that my questions were um, sometimes intellectual curiosity bordering on the intellectual debate. Uh, like just, you know, torture. Um, and I thought I was just replicating something I saw in a previous CEO who I had great admiration and respect for. But the reality was that it was kind of off-putting. And then I thought, you know, I watched him do town halls where he would always start by telling a story about his daughters. Uh, and I will shamelessly, shamelessly grab that and started a bunch of town halls and meetings where I would tell stories about my daughters. And it was amazing how many people remembered those stories, commented on those stories, and how all of a sudden it made me somehow more approachable. Now, I also had to remember that if I had a fifth question and a line of reasoning that I hadn't got good answers to the fourth, maybe I should stop at the third.